Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to talk about how I transitioned Caden from co-sleeping with Corey and myself into a crib. Um, I wanted to talk about this because this was a really big struggle for us. Uh, it, it was really hard to find something that necessarily worked for us and so I kind of wanted to talk about my story and how we ended up getting it to work. So first off, I want to let you know, Caden co-slept with us until at least six months. Um, if it was up to Corey, he wouldn't have co-slept with us as long. But I was adamant I wanted him to sleep with us for at least six months because all of the sleep training methods that I had read about didn't suggest doing it before six months. So I just really didn't want to. Um, actually, one time we tried the Ferber method, and basically what the Ferber method is, is it's not the cried out method, but it is you allow them to cry and you come back every five to ten minutes to check on them. That's just a brief summary. If you guys want to read more about it, look it up. But yeah, so I tried that once in four months and it did not work. So I that's how I convinced them to at least let me wait till six months because yeah. So six months came along and it still was not working. And Corey couldn't stand it either. We just decided that any method with crying was just not for us. So we just we just couldn't do it. We we I I know it's really hard, and I, and I don't have any problem with people that do it, but I just couldn't stand to see him cry. And I thought Corey would maybe be able to handle it a little bit better than myself, but he was actually worse than me. So we just we just couldn't stand to see him crying. So we just didn't want to go that route. So. I had looked up other ways to do it but and like to start a routine so that was my biggest thing as we started making a routine so every night with Kaden I will feed him we will play or we will play we'll get in pajamas we'll play for a little bit in his room and play with some toys and then we will I will feed him, I would sit in the rocking chair and rock him to sleep, which worked every night. I could get him to sleep, but then in the middle of the night he would wake up still every two hours. He wouldn't like it because he'd wake up and I was not there, and he would freak out. It would take us about an hour and a half to get him to go back to sleep, so that was not working for us. Uh, so we tried, so then we would end up bringing him back into our room after two hours of him sleeping in his crib anyways. So we never ever had an issue with him going into his crib. He, but it's, I think it was because we were always, he was basically when I was nursing him, he'd fall asleep and we put him in asleep and he'd wake up and not realize that we had left him. So then we kept continuing to try that and then we would spend all the time and it just, it just wasn't working. So what ended up working for us is what I wanted to share with you guys and maybe this is just natural, like everyone does this and maybe I just am like, wow, like I just didn't, flew over my head and I didn't think of it. But we ended up bringing the crib into our room and so I, we took the crib and we pushed it right up against the our bed. That way, so we could put him to sleep in the bed, and when he would start fussing, we would be able to, I would just be able, because he was on my side of the bed, put my hand in the crib and put it on him, and he wouldn't even wake up, which was awesome. And I think a lot of it had to do with when he was co-sleeping, I was always cuddling with him. So he was not used to being by himself, not being someone there. So we did that and we, and that has worked awesome. He went from waking up every two hours to waking up once or twice a night. And he usually will stay in his crib till 6.30. And after that, he either gets up for the day or we try and get him to sleep a little longer so we can sleep in about another hour and we'll bring him into bed with us and, or, and he'll just usually sit there or fall back asleep. And if he doesn't go back asleep, then we get up for the day. So that I don't know is, is that normal like like is that just like common sense but that has worked so well so now what we've been working on is pushing the crib away slowly um, it's gotten to the point where I don't have to put my arm on him anymore after feeding him I can seriously just 
like, because he'll still wake up to feed and I'll feed him and I put him in his crib and he just rolls over and falls asleep. And I think it's because he knows we're there. I don't know. Like, I'm hoping this video makes sense, but he knows we're there so he doesn't freak out anymore, which is great. And so now our big thing is we are slowly pushing the crib farther and farther away from the bed so he can still see us, he still knows we're there, and... <laughs> still knows we're there and he can see us but like slowly and then our plan is once we get the crib far enough away we will move the crib back into his bedroom and we are just spending a lot more time in his room so maybe he gets a little bit more used to it most of his play stuff is in the living room so we don't necessarily play in his room that much so now we are playing more in his room which is what he's doing right now so he's being noisy and with that, it has actually made napping a lot easier. Um, with naps now, I do have to sit in the room with him for an hour before he'll go to sleep. But usually, I can lay him down. He will talk to himself. If he ends up getting worked up, I will just nurse him again. And then out like a light and put him down. And even if he opens his eyes, he just rolls over and goes to sleep. So that big transition of moving the crib into our room and pushing it up against the bed has made such such a difference. I now have a whole bed to myself. I am sleeping and not getting up every two to three hours in the night anymore, which is amazing because it's been like, he's almost nine months. So it's been like at least eight months without me having a, like a real night's sleep. I remember the first night that I slept for six hours in a row. I was just like, Whoa, I've never felt this good before. It was amazing. But yeah, so basically, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to share, um, sorry. I just kind of wanted to share my journey with how we've been transitioning, let you guys know how it's working and maybe I'll do an update and let you know if it's changed or if anything else we've done to help him actually get into his own room. But as of right now, he is sleeping in his own crib. He is no longer co-sleeping, which I would have him co-sleep forever, but I understand Corey wanting his own bed back. But yeah, so I just thought I would share that with you guys of what we're doing and how we are transitioning from co-sleeping to crib and what has worked for us and what hasn't and how it's actually helping with naps. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video short and let you guys know because, yeah, it's it's been a big thing for us. A really big thing. It's taken months for us to figure out something that worked. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Kane and I say goodbye. Say goodbye. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> Look at the camera. <gasps> you see that? Say. <gasps> <laughs> Bye, guys.